Good morning, Rock Church, Facebook, YouTube, my brothers and sisters that's following us by way of Twitter. This is Pastor Robert Louis Stevenson, the senior pastor of the Rock of Our Salvation Church. Come on, somebody. It is so good to be with you all this morning. We're going to celebrate ending our Love Indispensable series today. But boy, I hope it's been helpful. Before we get into the word, I want to certainly pray. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we desire you. We love you. We thank you for a new life. We thank you for life that you've given us this day, this hour. Mm, mm, mm. May we embrace that. May we celebrate living in the land of the living. May we not take for granted, God, that we can live every day. But this is a new day, a day we have not seen before. May we embrace that in Jesus' name. Let God's people say amen. All right, brothers and sisters, we got to grab in. We got to get up in here, man. I got so much to cover. So this is our last uh, day of the series of love is indispensable. That doesn't mean, you know, we don't stop. We stop loving, but we continue to grow in it. Here's some of the things that we covered in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4. We found out that love is patient. We found out that love is kind. Then we found out some things that love does not. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. Then we found out that love, what? Keeps no records of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but it does rejoice with truth. We found out that love always does something. It always protects. It always trusts. It always hope. It always persevere. And as we end our study series on love is indispensable, it flat out says love never fails. Come on, somebody. Oh, love never fails. It never fails. Think about it. When you think about the definition of never, and you just think about it like this. Love never, what? Not at all. Certainly not. Not for a moment. Not under or in any circumstances should love ever fail. What failed me? It means be unsuccessful in achieving one's goal. And therefore, hey amen, I don't care what nobody say. Based on God's word, it's going to always succeed. Always build up. Now, here's two reasons why I believe why love never fails. And that's just based on my time I have today. You want to write down John 3, 16 and 17. Here's why love never fails. Because the Bible says, for God so loved the world, come on somebody, that he gave his one and only son. That is love. That is love. And it's extended. Not only did he give it to us, he says that those who, he says that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. To be with him forever. Watch this. God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world. That's love. Love is angry. Love doesn't condemn, but to save the world through him. Everything that he did, he showed us what love is, what love does, what love doesn't, how love always persevere, always hope. And the second passage I want you to write down is Romans 12, verse 9 and 10. This is how love never fails, because it says love must be sincere. Come on now. What are you saying, Pastor Rob? I'm saying the word of God wants us to understand love must be heartfelt. It got to be inside this core, okay? It got to be genuine. I'm not going to do this in order to get that. Come on, somebody. Love does not require a payback. It says, watch this, hate what is evil. Come on now. Cling to what is good. This is what love does. It says, be devoted to one another in love. Come on now. Honor one another above yourselves. Brothers and sisters, in other words, I've come to find out that love is a force to be reckoned with. Come on, give him a hand praise right there. Love is a force to be reckoned with. Boy, I'm telling you, when love is on display, the force of power of God is present. I don't care if you're going through whatever it is, hell or hot water, love is a force to be reckoned with. I got to get God a hand praise again. 
because here's the reason why. He loved me when I was unlovable in my eyes. He loved me when I didn't deserve love in my eyes. He loved me through mercy. Come on now. He loved me through grace. He loved me because he's unconditional. That requires another hand praise. Love is truly a force to be reckoned with. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. I want you to think about this. If we allow love to fail, we lose part of ourselves in the whole process. Yes, we do. That's why people be looking for love in all the wrong places. Because they allow love to fail in different areas of their life. And they're trying to find it. They're trying to go out of it. Because part of themselves are being lost in the process. Brothers and sisters, here's the truth. Love can fail if we give in to fear, which is false evidence that appeared real. Love can fail if we give up on hope, meaning, man, I'm just hopeless. And love can fail if we stop fighting from holding on to the truth of the word of God. Oh, no, 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 no. See, this is what I'm saying. Don't you worry about because Pastor Rob don't know what your situation is. I don't have to know what your situation is. The word of God does. And it will. And it always was intended to equip us because it's basic instructions before leaving earth. Brothers and sisters, I know this to be real. If any of these things are real in our lives today, guess what? Pain and darkness begins to close in on us and we lose hope. And we just began to do our thing. But that's not what love is. So I want to ask you this question. Are you ready to release your faith on this solitude Saturday knowing that we must do our part in order for love not to fail? Not once in our lives. Okay, brothers and sisters, you know what we got to do. We got to keep it simple, saints. Here's the, how we're going to do it. By remembering the only way love fails if we do nothing to stop it from failing. In other words, we must make sure 10 things that we're not doing. Number one, being distant. In other words, we're being distant in relationships because, you know what, we're walking in fear or hurt. We can't distance ourselves. We got to get in there and embrace this thing. Number two. Not being disconnected, okay? We can't detach ourselves from individuals because we feel like, man, they have hurt us and they continue to hurt us. They say hurtful things. We got to stay in the trenches. We got to be right there. We can't separate ourselves. Number three, we can't have, we can't be lacking intimacy. See, I'm going to talk to some of you all who are married right now. You can't be lacking that because I'm going to tell you something. If you're lacking intimacy, I'm telling you, you are doomed to fail. Number four, you can't be lacking uh, being, you know, we can't lack, we can't be lacking being disrespectful. You can't be disrespectful. We, we, we can't lack, man, we can't be that, you know, we got to be respectful. We got to let respect happen. Number five, we can't be living with unforgiveness. We just can't, man. The, 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 the very fact that you will be hurt because you have hurt and hurt people will hurt people. Hey, man, listen, people have broke our trust. Okay, we talked about that. We don't, hey man, there's some emotional pains that you're going through that you have experienced. You cannot be lacking in unforgiveness or you will be doomed to fail. Number six, we can't be living with bitterness, okay? We can't be having these holding these grudges, brothers and sisters. That ain't gonna work. We cannot hold grudges. We gotta release them. We gotta release folks, man, so that love will be real and failing would not be an option. We not we, we would never fail in love. Number what? Number uh, uh, seven, living with resentment. My God. You know what happened? When we live with resentment, we have, we always hostile, man. You know what I mean? And there's hatred. That, that, that builds up hatred, a callous heart. And you be wondering, man, why are you feeling that way? Because guess what? You're living within resentment. Hey, number eight, living with hopelessness. In other words, we've been at a state of despair all the time. There's anguish that's always happening. That's because love is failing right now in your life. Hey, man, number nine, being a person who has no empathy towards others. In other words, you're not even interested in what others think, what others are about. I see I ain't got no hand claps today. I get it. I see. I understand it. This is reality, okay? Hey, man, lack of concern for others. 
Hey, man, when we when we see that this world that we live in and we ain't sharing the gospel, we ain't sharing our testimony, we lack a concern. Love, love is failing. And number 10, being a person embracing empathy. That means being concerned and understanding for others, brothers and sisters. God is no, God is true. He showed us what love is about. And I, and I pray really that this series been helpful. Go back and listen to the, the recordings. Go back. Because the word ain't gonna ever change, brothers and sisters. Man, we can we can give the we can give our loved ones so much, we can extend all the kind of things to people, but if we have not love, we have not done nothing. My brothers and sisters, I know this is a challenge. And it's been good for me. It's been convicting. But boy, it's so good to know that God loves us beyond our faults and beyond who we are and what we say and things we don't say. Things that we have signed, hidden contracts with the enemy with. God still showing us his love beyond what we deserve. So therefore, I am appealing to each and every one of us as I am appealing to myself that we will extend the real realities of love, which is this. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. It. it does not boast. It is not proud. It does not honor others. Dishonor others. It's not self-seeking. It's not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrong. But love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects. It always trusts. It always hopes. It always pervert, perseveres. Love never fails. Hallelujah. Father God, we bless your holy name. We thank you, God, that you have so fit to teach us, to help us to go beyond the surface of things, to show us, God, that our worth is not in the material things, in our education, and God, that what we have accumulated, but our true worth is in love, imitating love, being about love, Extending love, receiving love, embracing love. God, I pray, God, that we'll look within the hearts of our hearts and not play games and say, hey, man, this was okay, this was good, but we began to do the real work behind the scenes. God, I thank you, God, that you, you're showing your faithfulness to the, us, your sons and daughters, and his broadcast daily that we know that you love first loved us and that we are called to love others and let we that we may love them sincerely may you be glorified in jesus name Mwah! what a series that's right love is indispensable don't you ever forget that because you have the tools to be patient to be kind to hold no records in wrong. You have the tools to not be self-seeking and then begin to honor others. You have the tools to stand up and say, guess what? Love never fails. I am Pastor Robert Louis Stevenson, the senior pastor of the Rock of Our Salvation Church. Come on, love yourself right now by giving God a hand praise. Come on, love yourself. Get you some hearts out there. Shoot them up out there. Let them know that you have redeemed and be restored and you are looking forward to be that new person in Christ. You're going to celebrate love with everybody. I don't care what needs to happen. You love them because love never fails. And I hope I can see y'all tomorrow morning at the Rock Church at 1030. We're going in with the word of God. May God be pleased in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate him again. Come on now, give him another hand for it. Don't you stop celebrating him because he loved you regardless of what has happened in our lives. Come on, somebody. I love you. I bless you. Keep praying for me as I pray for you. I'm out of here, y'all. Come on, somebody. Woo! Yes, sir.